it feels quite intimidating sometimes. Mmm, smells like a passion bear. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm really traumatised by this. Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another chatty vlog. You are joining us today on our first full day back in lockdown. <laughs> Why are we in lockdown? Because of... Coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> but we're still going to have fun, aren't we? We're going to do a lot of really fun Halloween activities. Even though we can't go out, we are technically allowed to go out for a walk for exercise, but the rain is pouring down isn't it so we're very much doing in the house halloween activities today aren't we tomorrow can we do a the easter hunt well uh -huh. one of the activities we've got planned is a halloween hunt which is a bit like an easter egg hunt which we were going to do in the garden but worst case scenario we can do it in the house it is absolutely fine oh, so before oh, we start i'll just close my eyes so i don't know where it is go idea before we get on with the vlog we're just going to say if you're new here Welcome. Please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post more videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. We do lots of vlogs as well as hauls, organisation, speed cleaning, all that kind of thing. I hope you will love it. The children got up at half past six this morning, which is later than I normally get up because I normally get up at five on a weekday to work. But it is Saturday, so I thought well, I won't get up until the children get up. When they got up, I took them downstairs, let my husband go back to sleep till about nine. I'm really sincerely hoping he will then do me the same courtesy tomorrow and I can actually have a lie in. I've now sent the children downstairs to uh, play with him while he has some breakfast and I can have a chat with you guys. As we are in lockdown, I have opted for a super comfy jersey t-shirt dress and leggings. And what could be more comfortable than that? Chat time while I get myself sorted second lockdown if you're not from wales allow me to explain we were initially put into lockdown in march since then it seems other areas of the uk have unlocked a lot more but here in wales we haven't been allowed to have anyone other than people in our extended households which have not been binned off in our home so since we moved to our new house we haven't been allowed any visitors at all so while this lockdown does feel daunting because it just gives us all the icky feelings. I think it's not perhaps as much of an adjustment for us. Our lives have not changed that much. Normally we would go away for October half term. So if we'd gone from having a trip planned to not going, that and that would be quite an adjustment. However, the way we've been living our lives at the moment, I wouldn't say it's gonna make that much of a difference. On to happier things for a moment, actually, in between our little lockdown chat. I have been sent a load of goodies from Bird's Bees. Now, if you have been around here on my channel for a while, or if you follow me over on Instagram, you will know that I have used their products for ages, over and over, but they've sent me a whole load of new products that I haven't tried before because they have now launched their own website. So I've only ever bought Boots Bees products from third party places, you know, Boots, Amazon, places like that. And you will have seen me pick up bits in Amazon hauls or talk about them on Instagram. Now they've got a fantastic website with all these amazing products in one place. And I've been trying these out for a few days and they are so lovely. So while I chat to you, I'm just gonna stick some of this makeup on. So this is a tinted moisturizer. I don't wear loads of makeup on any kind of normal day, so this kind of suits me. Now, my skin is like lizard skin. Earlier when I got up, I washed my face as I always do with a cheeky wipe, which is just like a little flannel, which I feel like kind of exfoliates, takes all of the yuckiness off. Then I used some of this Burt's Bees Day Lotion, and it's so gorgeous and thick. I also really like their packaging, it's fab. It's got those honeycomb, like the bees on it, total aside, but I'm sure a lot of people could probably go straight to tinted moisturiser, but I just feel like as soon as I get out of the shower, I've always been like this. I can almost feel my skin drying out, like it's flaking off my face. My skin is so painfully dry. So as soon as I've like, showered or washed my face or anything, I have to moisturise immediately. And then I kind of put makeup or tinted moisturiser or whatever on later. Anyway, we're going to use a little bit of tinted moisturiser. I can't even be bothered to use brushes today. I'm just going to use my fingers. I should probably use a mirror actually, shouldn't I? Rather than just my camera. Um, I've got another Burt's Bees 
tinted moisturizer but the other one I've got I bought in the summer um, so it's obviously for when my skin has got a little bit more of a tan so this one is in shade ivory because I have not seen the sunshine for quite some time it smells amazing anyway what was I saying we're back in lockdown part of me thinks it's not that much of a shock we perhaps would have gone out for a meal um, in some way that's kind of respecting the rules and things we perhaps would have gone out for a meal this week but we wouldn't have gone on a trip or a holiday or anything like we normally would in October and I feel like in some ways our new normal just feels normal now we've only ever lived in this house in kind of some state of lockdown which is really bizarre because we moved during like the last proper lockdown things kind of gassed off a bit over the summer and the children went back to school that now under these rules we're only allowed to go out to exercise which obviously we're not going to be doing in the rain um or to buy essential food but i am trying to have food delivered just to stay away from other humans but it is giving me kind of icky feelings as well so part of me is thinking it's just not that bad it's not that different to what we've been doing and for the second week of the lockdown, so two week lockdown here in Wales, the primary schools are allowed to go back. So my eldest son, who is in the sixth form, won't be allowed to go back. He's doing blended learning. But for the second week, things are gonna feel really, really normal. I've gone from filling up my tank of fuel every single week before we moved and before lockdown to I have put fuel in the car once since March. That is how much I use the car. I just barely even use the car. The children hadn't started back to ballet or face to face anything really so while it feels quite intimidating sometimes to be locked down again I'm just trying to rationalize it to myself that it's not that different to what we would have been doing anyway the mascara I'm using by the way is the Burt's Bees All A Flutter mascara with four-in-one multi benefits conditioning lengthening all that kind of stuff all in one go oh this I am so excited to find if you've seen previous videos of mine you will know that I have always loved the lip and cheek products because they're just so easy. Like you literally you take the cap off, you literally bung it on lips, lips and cheeks just to give you some instant color. This is the kind of thing you can throw in your handbag and you can do instantly. And it just makes you look instantly more like healthy. <laughs> I used to use one of these from another brand and they've discontinued it. And I was looking for a replacement for it. Couldn't find anything for love nor money. And then this. Discovered this. How easy is that? Done. Done. So this is the Burt's Bees All A Glow. This is brilliant for lips and cheeks. And it's just so easy. That's what we like, isn't it? A bit of oh so easy. Definitely a handbag must. For, you know, when we're back out in the world and I use handbags again. <laughs> Another product that we have been sent and we've been trying out is this. What's that smell like, Bells? Mm, it smells like Battenberg. <laughs> it does smell like Battenberg, which we love, don't we? We love Battenberg. So let's get some of this on your hands. Bella's hands are painfully dry. I think it's the combination of the weather, isn't it? The weather and mm. excessive hand washing. They're washing the hands so much in school. So we've been using this for a couple of days and it's already making a massive difference, isn't it? We just It's just repetition, I think, with this stuff. Okay. It needs to be used over and over with any hand creams and things. I think a good tip is just to kind of put them in your line of sight, isn't it? So you can remember mm. or put an alarm on your phone. If you really have got dry skin, just applying something once isn't going to make much difference. You need to keep at it, don't you? Especially mm. when you're washing your hands over and over and over. The other product that... Um, we've been using and to be honest I already had some of these but they sent me another one which I was thrilled with is this conditioning lip balm which um, I used these on Zara's face do you guys remember she had such a sore face all around her mouth and it was getting really really red and just sore sore mm. sore but if you just put these and a good tip for these is just buy a few of them and put them put one in your mm -hmm. handbag put one in your pocket put one just Put them Batten where the you see them. The best. Oh, Battenberg cream's the best. I'll show everybody. It's actually it's not called Battenberg cream. It's called almond and milk, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It smells divine. 
That's the other thing I do find. Is if something smells nice, you want to use it more, don't you? Because you want your hands to smell like bad and egg. <laughs> smell all delicious like you. <laughs> <laughs> right, and Mummy's just going to mm. run straight into over here and finish getting ready. And then we're going to do some Halloween activities, aren't we? Mm, the button picking. <laughs> I can't stop smelling it. <laughs> Which Halloween activities do you want to do other than sniffing your own hands? <laughs> Which Halloween activities? Um... Mummy's made some colouring sheets yeah. for you, which, by the way... Halloween uh, treasure hunt. Well, hope, we sheet. could do the treasure hunt. We might have to do that indoors. It's a bit mm. soggy in the garden. We could do it if it brightens up a little bit. Mm. I have created some Halloween colouring sheets, which I shall link below that you can print out and colour in at home. And I've got those Halloween baubles as well. Remember I bought those baubles to oh, fill up with chocolates? Yeah, to show... I've so actually found... Mm some chocolates. Do you mean the around. small ones? I got one in my party bag. Yes, mm. you did, didn't you? Right, go and play with Daddy and the others for a minute while Mummy finishes getting ready. Okay, go. I'm now ready to face the day, absolutely loving these Burt's Bees products, so thank you to them for those. If you want to grab some yourself, I have left links below, including a discount code. I'm less happy, however, about the grey hair scenario. Is that the start of a road I do not want to go down? Now let's go and do some Halloween-y bits. Yes, I keep making it weird to try and make the best of this half term, even though we're not allowed to go anywhere or see any friends or family. I'm trying to stay very <laughs> about it all for the children. I hope you are holding it together too. And I hope I can hold it together. Sending massive hugs to you wherever you are in the world because I'm sure you are being affected by this whole pandemic in one way or another. Do let me know in the comments how you're doing, what the restrictions are, where you are. I hope you're okay. Now let's go and do some Halloween activities. You will know if you followed me for a while that I am not a super crafty person. I would love to be a crafty Pinterest mum, but sadly I can barely draw a stick man. So all of the activities that I do with my children are of the easy end of the spectrum when it comes to craft or decorating or anything like that. So are all totally achievable because if I can manage them, you definitely can. I have some really upsetting news. I just found a gray hair. <laughs> Do you think you understand? This is really traumatic. Like a really long one. It was like down to here. I have, I have as well. <laughs> well, you found one. Uh -huh. One, a whole one. Yeah, one, one grey head. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really traumatised by this. I'm only 30. How old's mummy? Oh, 10 years ago, I didn't have any grey heads. My hair is black. That's not actually true. Well, it was pretty much. It had, a, and... it had fewer grey heads. We did have a lot more children in the last decade, it though. It's a lot blacker than it is now. True, true. Does anyone know how mummy old mummy actually is? Does anyone remember? How old is mummy, Zara? 18. Hang on. Ah, oh, charming daddy. Zara, without any prompting, how old's mummy? I know. You're 35. 35. I know. 35, I'll take that. Zara? 37. Oh, sadly, yes, 37. Who would like to do some Halloween colouring now? Would that be fun? Hands up for Halloween colouring. Yee! Oh, and Will. The C T shirt, because this is the one, the girls' Halloween um, dresses are sort of out of the dressing up box from last year. This is the t shirt that mummy bought for you. Do you like it? So I think you could probably arguably wear that after Halloween because it just says spiders, not Halloween, doesn't it? Mummy will print off the colouring sheets now, which I will link below if you want to print them off too. And we'll see who can be most creative. If your children do colour in these sheets, do make sure that you Take a little snap and tag me over on Instagram so we can see. I have created quite a lot of these Halloween colouring sheets. So guys, which ones do you want? If I just spread some out. You want the witch's hat with the bird. So we've got hat and bone. So we go, we've got like a design your own witch's hat one. There are some little children that are not socially distancing very well. So that was clearly you know, a 2019 Halloween one. We've got some ghouls, a cauldron, all sorts. So you're gonna decorate a hat, you Zara? Yeah. Very nice. Bells, good work, good work. You do all enjoy colouring. 
considering I'm not very crafty kind of mum, having pens and pencils, just them to access and do their own drawing and things, has been a bit of a game changer. Before the last lockdown and homeschool and stuff, then I didn't have this. And this has been brilliant. I've just had this in my office. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, I will link this below actually and I've bought various scissors and things we've got like wibbly scissors and they're all safety scissors but some of them are normal scissors and some of them are wibbly scissors you don't you prefer a bird kind would you well have you, you have a look through the sheets you've, you've done that one now there's a plain bird one there's a plain bird one there we go well help Zara find one I've got to say since I've had this in my office and they can just come in with me and do colouring wherever I want. I do leave this in the office, by the way, not anywhere else because I don't want them to draw. You know, don't want to say that, man. Give them any ideas. But um, I have it just for them to access when they are directly being supervised. Sorry, darling. Zara, especially, pen control has improved leaps and bounds since I just had this kind of out for them to use all the time. Because obviously we always had colouring pencils and things, but because they were sort of tucked away and not in view, then we just didn't use them that much. And you guys love colouring, don't you? William, that's very, very neat and very lovely. Zara, are you designing Witch's Hat? No. Why not? What's wrong with a witch's hat? Because I wanted a bird. You wanted a bird. Well, I'll have to print out a different bird. I think I only printed one of those. Yeah, you what just... about pumpkins? You only printed one Or this one pumpkin these. wearing a hat? Yeah, the cauldron? Would you like to design a cauldron? Uh, I know what cauldron is. A bat. Design a bat for mummy. The bat needs a face and everything. Yeah. Can you design a bat? I don't know how to do a face. You don't just, know how to just, do a just, face. Just do a and a happy smile. Oh, there's a cat no, on that one. Really How about the one with the cat? That. No. Just draw two eyes. You don't even need a smile for a bat. Out of all of these colouring sheets, twice. surprise, surprise, they want the same no one. Bats have Rainbow. A rainbow spatter. That is the most beautiful rainbow bat I have ever seen. Bella, that is just gorgeous. Let's see yours, Will. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Lunchtime. We are having severed finger hot dogs. Now, I'm not terribly creative, but I saw this on Pinterest. They, well, I've, you can see them when they come out. I've just like trimmed the end of the hot dog sausages to look like nails and uh, we're using ketchup for blood but i did mention i'm not very arty and not very creative child of mine Ew, that's not him hiding from the camera that's him doing a <laughs> face palm a face palm show them your face palm and hiding from the camera he's doing he's like mother he's they're doing, so bad <laughs> what do you have to know. say what do you have to say Make known to the world that you are what do you have to say? I'm sorry. What do you ask me to say? What are you saying about mummy's art abilities? Very, very, very good, yes. <laughs> now you're just lying. What do you want? <laughs> and here we have, if you can hear me over my husband's drilling out the extension as he builds. We have severed fingers. See? I've just chopped the top of the sausage off to make a fingernail. And obviously, they're fantastic and terribly artistic, aren't they, darling? Obviously, they are very Pinterest worthy and terribly artistic. Children, what do you think of Mummy's cut off fingers? Are they scary? Yummy! Oh, I'm so glad my children appreciate how artistic I am. My next job is to tackle this washing because yet again, I'm regretting my life choices rather than taking things straight out of the tumble dryer and putting them into our system of sorted clothes. I've been bunging them in unsorted baskets here, here, and here, and here, of stuff to be sorted. And now I am faced with a mountain. It's 
to deal with. So I'm going to do that and then we'll do some more fun Halloween -y bits. goodness that you will notice the girls have changed their clothes because Zara is on her third costume change of the day you were which who were you earlier Anna. You, you were normal Anna weren't you and then now who are you Queen Anna which apparently is a different person and Bella who are you water ice Elsa the one from the end of Frozen 2 right now if you saw my vlog where we were doing the haul and the decor for Halloween you'll know I bought these from Hobbycraft and I wanted to put Hobby. chocolates in them you know the little balls that come in nets and I actually bought ended up buying these from Amazon that are huge so those we're going to use I must admit they've gone down quite a lot daddy's been eating those hasn't he because they've been left out in this bowl so we're going to use those for the Halloween hunt which we will do I think it's going to have to be another day the weather is foul but I did manage to find these what are they called? Creepy coins, which I thought might do. They were from the co-op. And then hey, I got these on Amazon. Hey. I know a lot of you messaged me saying, hey, you can get them in this shop, you can get them in that shop, but we're not physically going shopping at the moment. And they don't seem to have them Yum. in the online versions Yum. of the supermarkets, only in person. Yum. So we're gonna tip these into this, and we're gonna put them into these little bauble thingies <laughs> and hang them on our Halloween tree. Those are looking pretty cool, I must say. Well done, guys. You've done a really good job making those chocolate baubles. Um, I figured that we can sort of use these year on year because you can pop them open quite easily. We can fill them with Halloween chocolates at Halloween, Christmas chocolates at Christmas, Valentine's chocolates, little Easter eggs even. So let's come and put some of these on the Halloween tree, shall we? Which actually, I am thinking, I should, perhaps should have got two of these because the Halloween tree is looking pretty darn full. You wait to see what I've got to put on you here for Christmas. Honestly, I'm. Mom, uh, we are going to start Christmas. Of course you can. We're going to start Christmas as soon as Halloween's done just because the whole lockdown, COVID thing is just so miserable. And I am, I've had moments today where I'm thinking, oh, I definitely felt the wobbles. Distracting ourselves with Halloween stuff. Halloween fun is half bone. Right, there we go, guys. Hang on some of these branches that don't already have decorations on them. That's a good idea, isn't it? Some further at the back. Well done, guys. Doing a fantastic job. Zara, do you want to get in here and hang some? Wow. <laughs> it's looking pretty overloaded tree, but it's looking cool. The tree is actually starting to bend a little bit. So I think we're just going to stick with six of these baubles on this little white tree. And then when our big Christmas tree goes up, we can fill it full of Mama, Christmas I ones. Yes. And when lockdown finishes and we're allowed to see other people, okay, only outdoors, but we could give them to, to friends maybe. They'd be a nice little present to give to your friends, wouldn't they? One of the Christmas baubles. What do you think? That would yes. be nice. I'm going to give one of my friends to Oh, well, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. they come over. They'd make nice little kind of Christmas party favours if that's something that's allowed. Like I said, even if we don't use them now, we can recycle them for Christmas and every event after that. Now, we are going to have a little movie afternoon, aren't we? Oh, you gave me your ticket. I have got these printable tickets 
and this little movie poster that is a printable which you can get when you get my ultimate mum bundle when you join my parenting email club which is basically it's free it doesn't cost anything but you just join and you get little emails from me including printables and bits like that um, and I will link the blog post below where I share all my best ideas for having like an at home movie day movie afternoon so we're gonna dim the lights and we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus aren't we children yeah. Who's excited to watch Hocus Pocus? Me! We're gonna watch the film now and have a little snuggle in, aren't we guys? And get in Halloween mood. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget if you wanna grab any of the bits from the Burt's Bees website, I shall link that below along with the discount code. If you like this video, please, please give, give it a thumbs, thumbs up and don't, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post more videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Thank you team. If you want to watch my latest video, it's just across here. And another video you may enjoy from my channel is just down here. Bye!